Okay. It is a Saturday morning. The weekend has just begun. It's also a little dark in here because I woke up a little later than usual. I'm just having a muffin and a cup of soy milk to start off the day. I've been really craving cake lately. I don't know why, but I thought I would treat myself by making myself a really indulgent chocolate cake. And specifically, I wanted to make the one from Kiki's Delivery Service. Maybe it's just something about anime food looking better than food in real life, so that's what I thought I would spend this weekend doing. And because I really wanted to be super chocolatey, I may be a little heavy-handed here with the cocoa. Making cakes is something that takes a lot of time for me. I do it because I really enjoy the process, but I have to make sure I have no other plans for a while. I always stand by the statement that a lot of butter makes the cake really good. But just look at how creamy that looks. And a satisfying egg plop little moments like this, you know? And yes, that is mayo. I know it seems a little unorthodox, but I promise it does wonders for your cake. You're not gonna taste it, I promise. One of my other favorite smells in the world, fresh coffee. Chocolate is great, but I really like spicing things up with a little bit of coffee, also a little bit of booze, just a little bit. Every time I tell myself I'm going to use a bigger bowl and every time I forget. I mean, just look at that. It is so hard to resist tasting it right then and there. Super chocolatey, just the way I like it. And yes, that is my secret chocolate stash. I like collecting chocolates, both for baking needs, cooking needs, but mostly for consumption. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me either, but I really like the sound of chocolate being chopped. Was I a little too generous with my chocolate chunks? Absolutely, but I mean, I got so excited. I just loved how it looked. I don't know if it's obvious, but this was actually pretty heavy. Definitely took a while to bake too, but that just mean I had some time to snack on some other things. Look at this beauty. Not too worried about the cracks because we're not going to see it anyways, but every time I pull it out of the cake pan, it feels a little bit like I'm doing a magic trick. A 
so I have to say, peeling the parchment paper off is such a satisfying feeling. Just letting it cool by the window, a little closer to the window, but it really is quite a sizable cake. Because it took a while to cool though, I thought I would call it a day and just wrap it up, make sure it didn't dry out so I could pop it in the fridge and uh, continue the next day. I'd like to say I woke up earlier today on a Sunday, but that would be a lie. Yes, this is me making buttercream frosting first thing in the morning. But also, doesn't this look more like an art piece than it does just buttercream? Maybe it's all in my head. Ooh. Baking does feel a lot like making art sometimes though. Just look at this color. Wow. I also personally don't like my frosting too sweet, even though that still looks like a lot of sugar. If that tells you anything. Once again, I don't know if I'm being kind of morbid, but doesn't this look like something from Dexter? That cake slicing tool does look pretty terrifying though, doesn't it? As you can tell, I am really having fun with this. <laughs> but if I'm being honest, the best part of baking a cake is decorating it. I really love this process and I really like taking my time with it. There's something about just building something from scratch is so satisfying to me which is why I usually put some music in the background and just go with the flow and get in the zone it's like spreading a really thick layer of butter on toast there we are. Our chocolate cake is whole again. Ta-da! This is going to be a very indulgent chocolate cake, so I am not holding back on this chocolate buttercream frosting. Really going in for it. smoothing it out and here we are. I could not take my eyes off of it, that much I can tell you. But oh my gosh, was it heavy. It was so heavy. And because there's never enough chocolate, I am finishing it off with a chocolate ganache coating literally the entire bag of chocolates also stealing one to snack on the 
and adding in a little bit of coffee just because I like the flavor it gives. And then I just drown them in milk and let them soak in it for a while. A nice hot bath. I love watching it transform into this velvety smooth texture. It kind of looks like those like luxury ice cream commercials. Decadent elegance made with the finest ingredients. Speaking of decorating, this is probably the most complicated part. I actually have to sit down for this because it takes a while. Sketching everything out, making sure that I get it right. I told myself I wouldn't be doing this again after I did it the first time, but here we are. Working with fondant always makes me feel like I'm playing with Play-Doh a little bit. I know it's not the best parallel to draw, but it's memories, right? Of being creative. This part also took way longer than you see in the video, but I didn't want to bore you too much. But yeah, by the time I was done with this, it was way later in the day. But I did it. one shot I had to very carefully place these fondant cutouts I had spent so much time drawing and trimming out literally holding my breath until this last one right here I was so proud and so happy doesn't that just look so inviting I was super excited to finally slice for myself a pretty big slice as you can see <laughs> and so yes I was finally able to satisfy my cake craving and end my weekend on very sweet note. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye!